Hi, I'm Robbie Adair, and this is OS Tips from OS Training. Today we're going to talk about FileZilla and a really cool little trick that'll make your life much easier. So have you been in FileZilla trying to edit your files, whether they're PHP files or text files, and it always opens up in Notepad. It's really frustrating to find things because there's no color coding. Well, hey, guess what? You can change that inside of FileZilla so that it always opens up in your preferred editor. Maybe you use Text Wrangler or Sublime, Notepad++. But I'm going to show you how to do it. It'll only take you a few seconds to do this. Let's take a look. All right. So first thing we're going to do is open up FileZilla. Now, I have not made any changes to this FileZilla. This is a fresh install of FileZilla other than putting a profile in here. If I open up a profile, which means I'm connecting, and you see on the left-hand side are my local files, the right-hand side are my remote files. Now, if I wanted to edit one of these files, by default, I haven't changed anything in here for an editor. So if I say I want to edit one of these files on the remote system, the first thing I get is, hey, there's nothing associated with these. Would you like to just use your default editor or would you like to set a custom program? For right now, we'll just say default editor. That's probably what you might have already done in the past. So we'll go ahead and say, OK, use the default editor, which in this case is going to be Notepad. So you can see index.php has opened here in Notepad. But Notepad is just black and white. It's pretty simple editor. There's not a lot of functionality in this editor. We want to use a different editor. In my case, I would like to use Sublime. Now let's take a look, though. I'm going to close this down. Let's take a look and see what happened when we said use the default editor. Under Settings, so Edit, Settings, you will see there is a File Type Associations down below the, the subheading file, the, excuse me, the main heading File Editing. So under File Type Associations, you can see that because we picked on a PHP file, it said, oh, use Notepad. That's the default editor on here. But what we're going to do right now is we're just going to delete that. I don't want that custom file association. What I'd rather do is go and change the whole default editor for FileZilla. So I'm going to go to the main tab here, File Editing. This is I could have done the same thing here and said use the system default editor. But what I'd rather do is use a custom editor. So I'm going to select Use Custom Editor. And now it's going to let me browse and find the editor that I want to use. So what I'm going to do is look on my local drive, so my C drive, or wherever your main drive is where you have your program files. And then inside of Program Files, you'll find the editor you're looking for. In my case, I'm looking for Sublime. So I'm going to find the exe. And you'll see once you find it and select it, it will show up down here in the file name. And you will just say Open. And here we go. That is in here. You can see that it has found the default editor uh, link. So now we will just simply say OK. And now when we're in here, if we come to edit that same PHP file, and it still has a temporary one open in Notepad right now, so we're going to say discard the local one and open up a new one. This time, you'll see that it opens up inside of Sublime. That's the Sublime logo right there. The nice thing about this is inside of Sublime, I have color coding. So it's going to make it much easier for me to edit these files. And like I was saying before, if we were to come in here and make a change on one of these files and save it, as soon as we hit the Save, FileZilla, by default, is going to realize that we've made a change, and it's going to prompt us to upload the changed file back up to the server. So now you'll see it is uploaded and made that change. All right, that's all there is to it. Don't forget, to change your default editor in FileZilla, just go to the settings, select the editor that you want to be your default, and that's what you'll open up and edit all your files in. When you edit in FileZilla, it downloads the file into a temporary state. Whenever you make the changes and save in that editor, FileZilla is going to, by default, prompt you to re-upload your changes to that file on the server. All right, 
I hope that helps you out. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and look out for more OS tips from OS training coming your way. I'm Robbie A. Barron. Have a great day.